So we're happy to uh, we're happy to hear about that as uh, our women's basketball team uh, is watching this game from uh, uh, from uh, there um, here on campus. Or so we're, uh, we're we want to give them a shout out. Uh, thanks for tuning in, ladies. And uh, again, great job last night um, playing the number five seed and Marion pretty tight. So great great to see some uh, support here on campus from our. Uh, women's basketball team. So here we go to start the second half. Kegley now down low. Kegley, spin move, turns, shoots, can't get the shooter's roll. And here come the Knights back the other way. So MVNU starts off the second half 0 of 1 from the field. And now they got to go back on the defensive end as they just cannot get any shots to fall here in the second half. Here's Harvey with the basketball. Hands off to Edmonds. Now over here on the far side to Stewart. Stewart, long three. Rims in and out, no good. Rebounded by Kegley. Here comes Mount Vernon on the push out now. 19-17 to go. Here's Kegley with it. Hands off to Knox on the far side wing. Knox looking for some help. Gives away to Rusiger. Rusiger and a nice job there by Rusiger. Nice, concert, nice concentration to get the ball back as that was almost another Mount Vernon turnover. Knox with the basketball. He now drives down the lane. Kegley wide open near side three. Nothing but the bottom of the net. For Kyle Kegley. Six points for Kegley. That's his first bucket since the uh, really about this point here in the first half. That's a big one there. Deficit cut down to 10. 39-29 here with 18.40 to go. Here's Stewart with the basketball. Now gives way to Walter. Now to... Harvey on the far side. Harvey comes around the screen. They're leaving wide open. And Mount Vernon, very lucky there that Harvey did not convert that, as you cannot get any wide, more wide open than that. And Mount Vernon, with a, another bucket here, could definitely build some momentum. And, and Hilliard wants it. Hilliard three balls short and rebounded by Marion. And that's going to go back to... The Knights, nice job there by Cameron Walter on the push out to be able to get the rebound. So MVNU unable to score on that possession. It remains a 10-point game, 39-29. MVNU playing the number 13 team in the country really, 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 really strong so far. Harvey with it, now gives way to Edmonds. Now down low in the paint to Walter. Walter over Barica, looking, turn, spin move, short. But rebounded by Goman for the Knights. And they get it back outside to Edmonds. Edmonds, he now drives down the lane. And now turns, shoots, scores for Johnson. And Johnson has nine. And the lead back out to 12, 40. Oh, and that, oh, a perfect, I mean, what a steal on defense by the Knights. And a score is going to be scored by Christian Stewart. He's now in double figures with 11. And the lead back out to 14, 43-29. As, as it's all been the Knights so far here in the second half. Hilliard, stop and pop three. Kaboom! For Clay Hilliard from a left side high. Hilliard now with 15 points on the game. He's only missed one shot all night. And the lead cut down to 11, 43-32 here at the 17-02 mark. And now here's Goman with the basketball. Goman looking for some help. Gives way to Stewart. Stewart driving down the lane. Double team comes. And he's going to kick it back outside to Goman. Goman now back to Stewart. Oh, and then a steal. And it looks like a... I thought it was going to be a steal. But they're going to call a foul on the Knights. Nice heads up play on defense by MVNU. And MVNU is going to um, get the ball back. As looks like we have it. Yep, we have a timeout. MVNU hanging tough as it's going to be a looks like a, a 30 looks like a 30 second timeout 43 32 16 48 to go in the semifinal round and Marion leads MVNU MVNU trying to, to mount an impressive comeback like they did against Bethel on Wednesday they still trail 43 32.